let's talk changes in percentage points. A lot of data that we have comes just in numbers, but there are times that data comes as percents. And so you have to think, um, you're talking, when you're talking absolute change, these are like percentage points. Um, so the points kind of gives it a numerical feel instead of a percent feel. So the example they gave us here, all right, in 2009 it was 9.3 and in 2015 it was 5.3. So 2015 is your new value and 2009 is your old value. So their absolute change, new minus old, it went down four, but that's four percentage points from 5.3 or 9.3 to 5.3, right? A decrease of four percentage points. But when you find the relative change, new minus old divided by old, now we've got a 43% decrease. So you can see the percentage points versus the percent decrease very different. So it's important that you like pay attention to those things. So let's do an example. According to the CDC, in 2014, the teen pregnancy rate was at its lowest ever at 2.42%. In 2013, the teen pregnancy rate was 2.66%. Find and interpret the relative change. Okay, so 2013 is considered old and 2014 is new. So new minus old divided by old. So I end up with, oh, where's my data here? Negative 0.24 over 2.66, which is roughly negative 0 0.09, which is roughly negative 9%. So therefore, teen pregnancy decreased 9% from 13 to 14, right? It's only a 0.24% percentage point decrease, but that's 9%, right? So again, it sounds different depending on which one you look at. Uh, obesity has become a global issue. The World Obesity Federation reports 37.9% of adult American men were obese in 2016. In South Africa, only 11% of men were identified as obese. Let's compare South Africa to the U.S. using absolute change. Okay, so I'm going to use South Africa as old and the U.S. as new. You could do it the other way. It really doesn't matter. Okay, so if I'm doing uh, new minus old, I get a difference of 26.9 percentage points because this is absolute change right so there are there's a 26.9 percentage points more obese men in the u.s when compared to south africa so there are 26.9 percentage point more uh obese men in the u.s versus south africa so they're, they're percentage points. So that's kind of how you talk about it. It's easier to talk relative change. So if we talk about our relative change, which is new minus old, 26.9, divided by 11, because I'm still going to use South Africa as our reference. That gives me a 2.45, which is 245%. That means there are 245% more obese men in the US versus South Africa. That's crazy, crazy. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's way more than double. So that makes sense, makes sense. Um, okay, that's percentage points.